I'm on the road to meet Bomet County's pioneer female governor and she, just like her other two counterparts, is the hope of many Kenyan women as regards leadership positions in positions that have previously been dominated by men. Bomet County. This is the home county of Dr. Joyce Laboso, immediate former deputy speaker of the National Assembly of Kenya and now Governor Bomet County. We are in Bomet County and we get to see her on the ground. I meet her at home in Sotik constituency where she previously served as member of parliament for two consecutive terms. This is a day in the life of Bomet governor Dr. Joyce Laboso. Because it is a, a up country setting, I've had to really, uh, you know, uh, be very careful about uh, maybe the length of skirts and uh, and that kind of thing. So I have to be conscious about that. You don't want anybody to to focus on, on on the dress rather than the things that you're saying and you know like you know with women that is how they try to reduce us now we've made thursday like the day that i i see people okay okay sotik hotel a humble restaurant in the heart of sotik is a must stop for the governor here we meet francis the business owner and one of laboso's proudest supporters Supporters. Francis has is, been a you know a very very staunch supporter and a very passionate one. So many times when during my campaign trails, you would find all the people you know that my supporters would always go to to that hotel and it was like a meeting place. You know there they come compare notes. How are we doing? You know how is Mama doing? I, I do it because I also know that if you know he feels at least appreciated. That, um, that when I have time, I'm able then to also go in there and, 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 and you know, buy people tea and, you know. Everywhere she goes, crowds follow her. A visit by her to the local kiosk to load M-Pesa and to the market is a spectacle. She seems to take it all in good stride. For them, they are just, they've been used to me um, being one of them you know so it's not uh, it's not a, a big deal that i i walk in the street of of, of Soti. even when my opponents you know uh, try and organize people to to shout at me it's not a big deal to me i've really develop that thick skin and i tell them you know like when they start shouting i'll tell them okay Lisa, have you finished so that we can get on with what we needed to get on with not many know that before joining politics dr laboso was a french lecturer at edgerton university in the language and linguistics department i am a french teacher qu'est-ce que tu veux savoir <laughs> bonjour uh, bonjour uh, comment ça va moi je m'appelle uh, Madame Joyce Laboso, je suis le gouverneur de Bomet County uh, et je suis très heureuse uh, de vous avoir aujourd'hui. Merci. That's really what I have a passion for and what I trained for, you know. So I always tell people I could still go to, back to the university and teach. The only thing I would ask is that somebody does the marking of the scripts because uh, that, one is, is, that one is really, really quite a, a torture. She joined politics as her sister's successor. This after former Sotik member of parliament Lorna Laboso lost her life in a plane crash. Lorna? had a, a, a way with, with 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 people and she 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 really cared you know she really connected very very well much more than you know i do but it, it's it's helped me also to to to, to try and at least uh, you know reach out and connect with the people um so uh, over the years of course i have also developed my own style Laboso beat Isaac Ruto on a jubilee ticket to become one of the three pioneer female governors in Kenya. This, she says, was a defining moment in her political career. One of the highest moments, of course, was when, actually, I think during the inauguration, you know, it was, I'd never believed 
that we could have such crowds in Bomet. You know, it was it was amazing. You couldn't just believe the crowd. Nobody had seen crowds like that. We got jams in Bomet, something that has never happened before. And on top of that, we have all this, and the president came, and so many, you know, um, you know, ministers, and everybody was like, you know. My, this, I was, yes, one of the female governors, but at the same time, a lot of the people were looking at the opponent that I had actually, you know, uh, you, you, you know, defeated. That there was, a lot of people never imagined that I was actually going to. They thought I was a joker, I, I was just playing around. So what has she achieved so far in Bomet County? I am actually very happy about um, what's happening at, uh, at our referral hospital. Of the big four agenda, I think the two that we have taken and run away with is health and food security. Decongesting our hospital, having at least a theatre in each of the f five sub counties, um, and then and then of course our universal health care uh, coverage for uh, especially the needy. Our biggest challenge is actually the crowds in the maternity. And that is why I'm actually putting up a mother and child wellness centre. Governor Laboso was previously put on the spotlight by the Auditor General who cited unsupported foreign travel expenditure by the county executive. Laboso says they indeed spent six million higher than the previous financial year on foreign trips, but says the amount was much less compared to similar expenditure in other counties. That was really a bit of a shocker even for myself because I wondered now. I see Bomet and it was splashed all over citizen. Bomet is the highest spender on um, on foreign travel and then, you know, so we tried to find out, you know, when you say it's the highest spender, why, what are you comparing it with? Because it was just the names of the, uh, a few counties with Bomet at the top with no figures, you know, how much is this that we have spent? Is it Bomet, exec the executive arm, or is it the, 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 the legislative arm, the county uh, assemblies? Uh, which financial year are we talking about? Because the discussions on that day were in two different financial years. There was 16-17 and 17-18. Although Laboso made history as one of the first three female governors in the country, she's had her fair share of challenges with some legislators trying to undermine her. When I was an MP, I could see, yes, yeah, some, you know, the opponents do little things in the social media and what. And then when I became deputy, gov de deputy speaker, it got a little bit more. Now I'm governor, it is even more so, you know, because each position, as you go higher, yeah, you know, there are more people who are, you know, who would want to be in that position. And therefore you get a lot, of course, a lot of enemies and a lot of uh, you know, people wanting to bring you down. She has put a brave face and soldiers on. It is not about being a woman. I am selling myself as a leader. What is it that a leader does? On women seeking leadership positions, Laboso says women's greatest undoing is their aversion to public scrutiny. If I'm governor today, really, um, I, a lot of women can be. Um, and I, I think there are a lot of women out there. Uh, if they can just get over that fear of being harassed, that, that fear of being called names and, and really serious names, that fear of, you know, uh, uh, being uh, almost uh, r really ridiculed you know, in public. If they can just get over that. And, and, and really say, okay, if you are going to do this, if I'm going to go for it, I'm just going to go for it. She says she will defend her seat in 2022. I do plan to defend, defend my seat. Um, I, I believe I, I, I still have a lot that I can offer this community. The good thing about them um, and the different thing about being a governor um, from being a, a, a member of parliament is that you actually have some decent resources to be able to make that difference. One of her opponent's campaign narrative was that Joyce Laboso is married outside her tribe and therefore did not qualify to go for the governor's seat. You know, because of history, they say now she was still married outside, she's still a woman, but how come she was able to be elected twice? <laughs> the mother of three has been in the political arena for 12 years. 
any elective position, you know, or the, or the public always feel that you, you kind of, you know, you belong to them. And it is to, to, to some extent, you, I mean, I owe my being here to the people that, that, that voted for me. So really there is that sense that, 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 you know, you really must be able to deliver to these people. She keeps her family separate from her office, which can be extremely demanding on time and privacy. For, for, for them, sometimes they really can't understand the vitriol and all the negativity. And so I said, no, you be, let me be the one to handle it because I got myself into, into these things. But, you know, I've grown up children, all of them are working and uh, on the one that just uh, actually in, in university. So it's not like they are little babies or anything like that. She took over leadership in Bomet County after beating a seasoned male politician. Today, Joyce Laboso's historic win as the first female governor of Bomet County continues to make waves.